Tamakazi here with updates on airlines, oil, and lottery plays, including lumber and silver. Um, wanted to just go back as, to look over some of my previous videos that I talked about and see where we are at now. I know I did the airlines and oil over the weekend, so with that and selling off today, are we still in line for those? So let's go through the charts. So in terms of Boeing, we are still perfectly fine. Let's look at save. Save is doing just fine, so it is still in the uptrend. It looks like it bounced off right here, so we are still okay for that potential play that we talked about. So airlines, okay. Let's just look at a couple other airlines right here. Uh, let's look at uh, United. Even United is still curling up. Um, I mean, they had a bad day today, sure, but uh, in terms of chart-wise, all of them look fine. Let's just look at one more right here. And yep, Delta's fine. Sure, Spirit or uh, Southwest looks fine as well. Southwest looks just okay. If anything, they gave you a discount for a good entry. So now that we went over airlines real quick, let's look at oil. I know I've been talking about Chevron. So Chevron um, looks like it potentially broke out here unless... Uh, these cups aren't always perfect, so I was just trying to show you what could happen. That is really thick. Let's let's reduce that. So let's actually just get rid of that. Um, so you can see here, it still is acting on support right here. So if we zoom in here, we can see we can get rid of that to clear some of the space up. I don't necessarily need these anymore. So we can see here it's still at support. Let's see what it does tomorrow. Um, if we get a bounce off of here and oil prices go up, then this might be a good entry spot to catch it on the bottom. Uh, we can look at U.S. crude oil right here to see if we have the uptrend still continuing. Let's look at an hour. So you can see here there's no, no risk of oil uptrend going down it did go down today but again it is still in the uptrend clearly so we can just do a trend line through there do a trend line through there changes to support and we can see it is clearly still in a channel here so oil is fine still on that we got a bounce here at the end of the day um, this is actually live, so this is live oil prices. We can see oil already has bounced here and is going back up after hours. So I expect the oil stocks to bounce back tomorrow. Could be a good play. So we talked about that. Let's go look at lumber. You know, lumber liquidators has been atrocious, but the chart it looks amazing now. So this could have been your entry today. We have a low point here. This line is support and resistance. So we have some support here. Resistance is here. And uh, we have support, support, and support. So this is good that it's still acting as support. And we can see and this support actually came in with this resistance. So instead of it being a resistance line, it is now a support line. And we have an uptrend here. So you could start a small entry here. I would still feel more confident um, seeing it over this green line as this is a buy indicator here. So if we got a breakout here and then a bounce test on the $25 mark. So I say over $25 lottery is on for lumber liquidators. Lumber hit an all-time high today. So I expect uh, lumber liquidators to come back into focus now as more and more people are talking about lumber prices and housing is still in order. One other thing that I had made a video on was Intel. Intel had an amazing day today. We could see that my highest projection line is in play right here. So it has been actually outperforming my highest projection line. So on play for $64 by next earnings for a full U-shaped recovery of what just happened. And we do have a catalyst tomorrow, I believe, with Intel releasing their Intel 11 processor. 
which is supposed to be a 200% increase in capacity. I saw a leaked video on it, and it looks amazing. And it could bring sentiment back into Intel, and we could see a gap up tomorrow. Uh, back, We could see a full U tomorrow. So this could be something where we see it go up back up to 60 tomorrow. So hopefully you got your Intel October calls or Intel leaps, whatever you decided to do, and let's make some money on Intel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these and girls enjoyed these updates. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know.